David Mark reporting. Imagine life without that dreaded quarterly power bill that could be around the corner for people with solar panels. Until now, solar energy couldn't be stored efficiently and people who had it relied on the electricity grid for backup. Now, new battery technology means that could change. Matt Peacock reports. It's the power revolution coming to your house soon. We have this handy fusion reactor in the sky called the sun. Okay. You don't have to do anything. It just works. It shows up every day and produces ridiculous amounts of power. Power that's plentiful but could never be effectively stored. A breakthrough in battery technology is about to change that. Batteries really signify a complete game changer. Uh, they come in couple with solar PV that really enable consumers now to become their own mini power stations. It's going to be about the biggest change as we've seen in the telecommunications industry with uh, mobile phones. You can actually go, if you want, completely off grid. You can take your solar panels, charge the battery packs, and that's, and that's all you use. This month, PayPal billionaire Elon Musk unveiled Powerwall, a cheap lithium-ion battery soon to be churned out on a massive scale in a giant factory being built in Nevada. So as simple as walking over to the power unit, which is supplied by the Powerwall. The solar batteries have been developed from the technology that powers this groundbreaking electric car, the Tesla. We've been able to take solar to battery, battery to power. And as you can see from the release of the power in the car, accelerating from 0 to 100 in just 3.3 seconds, shows that we've got great release from the lithium-ion batteries to power. So uh, we've now got two batteries on the market, the 7 kilowatt hour and the 10 kilowatt hour. 7 kilowatt hour for daily use and 10 kilowatt hour as a backup. Next year, Australia will be Powerwall's prime overseas market, where it's estimated with add-ons it'll retail at about $5,500. The interest in Australia is mainly due to the high uptake of solar in this country and the opportunity. It makes economic sense to have a home battery. It'll happen quicker in Australia than it will happen anywhere else in the world because of our high retail prices. We pay so much just to boil a kettle in the city and now we've got a cheaper way of doing it. Imagine low or even no power bills. The new solar battery technology gives consumers control. And that's forcing energy companies to rethink the way they do business. Up in northern Australia, in the tropics, solar power is a bit of a no-brainer. But it's here in a quiet cul-de-sac in suburban Townsville that the local electricity supplier has been running tests in ten houses of solar plus the new revolution batteries. So come on out guys, a battery system that's just been recently installed. We've got For Ergon Energy it's a case of if you can't beat them, join them. So at the moment our solar panels are generating power and coming onto the grid. Um, we've also got excess, there's not much load so the rest of it's going back out to the electricity network on the street. That means Barry and Glenis Lowe are now using battery power and selling their surplus back to the grid. Well, since Dean's put the um, five kilowatt system in, we haven't paid a power bill. Has that surprised you? It did, it did. Um, and there's been some surplus money out of it. In some of Queensland's far-flung rural communities, Ergon is installing localised grids with battery storage to save running transmission lines over vast distances. Similar microgrids are possible in cities. Up here in North Queensland, we're subject to uh, things like cyclones, uh, where we can come in and have widespread devastation. Um, the opportunity here we have in, in this street is that we could potentially test the availability of a microgrid, where the mains power went down um, into the street, then the houses in the street could supply energy and trade energy with, amongst each other and still stay connected and share their energy. The Tesla battery has Australia's top power companies like AGL scrambling to catch up. Three years ago, it bought out Victoria's biggest brown coal generator, Loy Yang, the nation's largest emitter of greenhouse gases. But it also operates the country's largest solar farm at Ningen. 
Now it's begun offering customers solar panels without upfront fees and in a few weeks begins to market its own battery. The typical Australian home runs on a circuit that requires about three kilowatts of power. Um, so our battery will allow Australian consumers that have this battery to run their appliances and their air conditioning late in the afternoon off the battery power. They're recognising that this is going to be the biggest change in their industry in more than a century. So they're trying to engage with the consumer and protect their business. Very soon, households, even apartments and rental homes will be offered bundled plans for their electricity. A mixture of solar, grid and batteries, all tailored for affordable cost and household demand. So instead of just buying kilowatt hours, you'll be getting uh, different product wraps and product mixes. So capped price options, somewhat like telco offerings for mobile phone plans, would be the sort of typical sort of thing you'll start to see. With the price of lithium batteries predicted to fall still further, faster, the switch to solar is likely to accelerate. Solar on people's roofs is an unstoppable force. You have to embrace the new technology, otherwise you will be swept away by it. Matt Peacock with that report. Fifty years ago, most people used to die at home. These days it's fewer than one in five, and a swift catastrophic illness is the exception. Many of us will see our final days or...